Good evening, class. Today we are going to be working with verifying trigonometric identities. Here we see 1 minus sine A divided by 1 plus sine A is equal to secant A minus tan A squared. So let's maneuver the right hand side. So secant A is equal to 1 divided by cosine A minus tan A is equal to sine A divided by cosine A and then square that or you could say raise it to the second power and then we can bring it together as 1 minus sine A divided by cosine A and then remember it is to the power of 2 so it is 1 minus sine A divided by cosine A times 1 minus sine A divided by cosine of A then we bring it together and say 1 minus sine A times 1 minus sine A divided by cosine squared of A. So, now we need to factor the denominator eventually once we do one trigonometric conversion of cosine squared of A and that is equal to 1 minus sine A squared. So 1 minus sine A times 1 minus sine A divided by 1 minus sine A squared. So now we can rewrite this as 1 minus sine A times 1 minus sine A divided by 1 minus sine A times 1 plus sine A. and the denominator was factored using the difference of squares. So, the 1 minus sine A in a numerator and 1 minus sine A in a denominator cancels out and we have 1 minus sine A divided by 1 plus sine A which is equal to the original statement on the left hand side of 1 minus sine A divided by 1 plus sine A. Now the statements are balanced. This is how you verify both sides of the equation to see whether or not each statement is a true statement within trigonometry and therefore the statement has been verified and balanced. If you need math help please text 559-744-3169. Please donate on the cash app with a dollar sign up front MLV FAN. If you need math help, text 559-744-3169. Donate on the cash app with the dollar sign up front, M-L-V-F-A-N. Let's make learning math fun, and let's learn together. Thank you.